Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome to yet another session of Duolingo. My name is Reena Nakpal, and I am here to help you to understand how to score better in the production area of your Duolingo exam. Out of the various questions of the Duolingo exam, today we will be again working on write about the photo, and we will be understanding the tips and tricks, the strategies, the ways, the methods, the techniques, everything that is required to be able to score better in this type of question. To start with, let's understand the criteria of your Duolingo exam. The, according to the assessment criteria of your Duolingo exam, your score will always be divided into four parts. Since the Duolingo exam is an integrated paper, you will not come to know the specific skill that you are being judged for. You will be given four different scores depending upon your performance on the questions that are shared with you. Literacy stands for your ability to read and write. Comprehension stands for your ability to read and listen. Conversation stands for your ability to listen and speak. And production is the ability that includes write and speak. So you will be given four scores based on these literacy, comprehension, conversation, production, your four scores will be added up, divided by four to give you your overall score. So in a way, you will have to take care of all the four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Let's proceed with the first and the most important thing, understanding the question about describe the photo. Now, how should you describe the photo? First, always remember that you have only 90 seconds to describe the photo through writing. Now, there might be questions where you will have to speak about the photo and there will also be questions where you will have to write about the photo. Whatever the case be, the time for each question will be different. So be very familiar with the time that you get. Your timer will always be there on your screen and it is very important that you always keep an eye on the timer because this is an AI generated paper in which you know you just can't assume that, okay, never mind, I'll just take one or two seconds extra. No, that is practically not possible because the AI will automatically change the question as soon as 90 seconds are done. So here in describe the photo, you have 90 seconds to describe the photo through writing. Now understand through writing. I, that is the, you know, that is the main point that I am emphasizing on. Okay, now how should you start? First, you should always remember the number of times that you will get this question. Because, you know, although everything is repeated when you are in the middle of the exam, but you know that exam phobia, that fear that, oh, this question has appeared again. Oh, do I have to answer it again? That, you know, that makes you nervous. So having a very clear picture of how many times will the question appear? How do I have to go about it? will always make you feel calm and relaxed. May it be any entrance exam, may it be any uh, English assessment exam, it is very important for you to have a clear picture of the different types of questions, the time that you get for each question, and the tips and tricks and the strategies, the most important part. Now, this question that we are working on today appears three times in your exam. Now, when I say three times in your exam, that does not mean that you will get it back to back. It can appear at any point of time. Maybe first you will have uh, described the photo, then you will have something related to speaking, and then you will have something related to listening, and then this question will come again. So it will come three times, but not. I am not saying that it will come three times back to back. It will come anywhere during that exam of one hour. How would you start? First, look at the photo and analyze it properly. Now, when I say properly, I don't mean that spend a lot of time on it because time is your biggest enemy. So you don't have enough time. You don't have the time to you know, observe each and every corner. The first thing is look at the picture and see, okay, this is a beach. This is a marketplace or this is a classroom. This is an empty room with nothing in it, which might be very difficult to describe, but of course, or is this the picture of a bedroom? So that is the first impression that you have to take. At a glance, what do you get from the picture? After that, start diving deep into the picture. Start looking at people, places, things that are there in the picture. If there are a few people, then you need to know that what is everyone doing? Are they sitting? Are they enjoying? Are they having tea? Are they talking? 
do you think that they are in a meeting? Do you think they are in a party? So when you see people, you should know what are these people doing? Are they sad? Are they happy? Are they tensed? Are they, do, does it seem as if they are planning something? Do they have any notebooks? Do they have any pens? Do they have mobile phones? Are they working on laptops? Multiple things. But of course, you know, this is something that you will understand within the first two to three seconds as soon as you get the picture on your screen. Because obviously, when I see a person, I will definitely notice what is he doing? What is he holding? What is he wearing? What is his face, facial expression? Sorry, what is his facial expression? So all these, all this information will not take a lot of time. I don't need 10 seconds to collect this information. I will be able to get it immediately within, I am saying, three seconds. Okay, now, if there are no people in the picture, if there are just things, maybe a table, a chair, a bed, or a few plants, animals, maybe it's a picture of a sunrise. So then notice the things that are there in the picture. And if there are things, are they on the eastern corner, on the western corner? Are they on the left bottom? Are they in the middle? Is this a messy room? Is this a very organized room? Is it a messy kitchen? Is it a neat and clean kitchen? So observe people. What are they doing? Observe places. Observe things that what all things are there in the picture and where they are placed. That will take, again, not more than three seconds. Always start with a general overview. Now, this Whatever I spoke was the first impression of the picture. That this is the picture of a bedroom, of a kitchen, of a beach with three people in the bedroom. So this is a general idea that I'm giving you. So the first impression will be this, the overview. What is the picture about? What is there in the picture? Then you start diving deep into it as we discussed just now. Use descriptive language to bring the photo to life. Now, Imagine that if I am saying all these things to you, when I'm saying a beach with a few people enjoying, or when I'm saying a bedroom with two people sitting on the bed and enjoying tea, are you actually able to create that picture in your head? As I speak, are you able to visualize that picture in your head? Overall, I would say yes. When I say bedroom, you will definitely think of a bedroom. Do you know, it's, that's human tendency that a bedroom comes in my head. When I say a beach, I will immediately imagine a beach. But if I am more descriptive, if I am talking about it's a huge bedroom or it's a very teeny mini bedroom, the bed is a queen size bed, it's a king size bed, the bed sheet is light brown in color, fawn. That's my favorite color, so I chose that. So the, the bed sheet is fawn in color and the combination of the bedroom is not as good as it should be, right? So when I am diving deep into it, when I am using more descriptive language, your imagination, your understanding of the picture gets better. And that is what you have to do. Of course, through words. Here I am speaking. Sometimes people feel that speaking is easier. While there are others who feel writing is easier. But for the Duolingo exam, we need a practice of both these things, right? So use more and more of descriptive language. Describe if you're talking about people, describe their clothes. Are they shabby? Are they dirty? Are they ironed? Are they blue, dark blue in color? Does, it, does the color of the shirt and the pant match with each other? Are, are all the people in the meeting wearing formal clothes or informal clothes? If they are in a party, what type of clothes are they wearing? Use more and more of descriptive language. The purpose here is to bring the picture to life, to, ma to make the other person, you know, even if the picture is not in front of the examiner, the exam, of course, the AI in this case, not the examiner, the AI in this case, even if the picture is not in front of anyone, the person should be able to imagine, create a picture of it just by the use of your words. And last but not the least, your grammar plays a very important role. Don't think that this, this uh, test will not be checked by a human being. So the AI will not know the different types of sentences. Of course, the AI knows, it knows 
punctuation, it knows spelling, it knows sentence structure. So every comma, full stop, apostrophe, every uh, capital matters. And along with that matters the combination of the three types of sentences, simple, compound, and complex. If I miss on any of these types of words, the sentences, suppose I frame all simple, 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 simple sentences, I will not lose marks for grammar, but I will lose marks for my sentence structure. The more the variety of sentences, the more the variety of words that I use, the better it is for my scope. So these are the basic things that you need to remember. Without the understanding of all these things, I would not suggest that any one of you should go for the exam. Because that exam phobia, as I said, Although you are sitting in your own bedroom, maybe most of uh, the people, uh, most of the candidates, they give the Duolingo exam from their home. Although you are in a very comfortable place, but still the exam phobia remains there. So be very clear with all these things. 90 seconds, start typing immediately after the third second. Don't even, I would not suggest to waste even five seconds. That is also too much of time to be wasted in just planning. After three seconds, you start writing. You continue to write till the 89th second. Don't wait for the 90th second. On the 89th second, your full stop should be there. Your sentence should be complete. Don't give the AI, don't give the system an incomplete sentence. Again, your score will be affected. The question will appear three times. Look at the photo, analyze it, start writing immediately. Use more and more of adjectives, the more descriptive you are, the better it is for you. Just start with a quick overview of what the picture is about. Then as you are typing the first sentence, keep an eye on the picture and start diving deep into it. And last but not the least, be very careful about your grammar, your punctuation. And one more thing, remember there is no Grammarly, there is no software to check your grammar. Everything is turned off because until and unless you uh, bring your system to the factory settings, it might not accept your exam. I'm telling, uh, I would like to share a personal experience that just came to my head just now. One of my students who was trying to give the exam around 10 to 15 days back, he was not able to submit his exam, or I should say that his exam was not accepted till he brought his laptop to the factory settings, removing all the softwares. So that is also something that you will have to check and be careful about. No Grammarly, no other softwares, no WhatsApp. Even, you know, although his WhatsApp was not working, but it was there. He had logged into it some time back, so it did not accept it. So be very careful with these things as well. Okay, so now that we know, we have understood how to proceed with this type of question. Here we go with the first question of the day. If you remember, this was the question that I shared with you last time for your practice. Now, what is the first impression that I have? Three monkeys? <laughs> and of course, it takes me back to uh, the ideas of Mahatma Gandhi. So obviously, if I don't have a lot of content, I will talk about the ideas of Mahatma Gandhi and what was the message that he wanted to convey. But the first impression, three monkeys made of metal, shiny metal, shiny, shiny dark silver metal. The first monkey is covering his eyes with both his hands. Do mention covering both his eyes with both his hands. The second one covering both his ears with his both hands. And the third monkey covering his mouth with, again, he is like this, so with both his hands. Now, after this, if I look at the picture, there's nothing left to describe. I've, I've already said that, you know, these are three monkeys. They are metal and they are made up of metal and the color is dark silver color. And I've said the eyes, nose and the ears part. Now that nothing is left, I can't just write these three sentences and move ahead. Of course, I'll not get score if I just mention these three sentences and I move on. No. So then I will start connecting it to the lesson that Mahatma Gandhi gave and how we refer to these as the three wise monkeys of Mahatma Gandhi through which he wanted to give, he wanted to convey a message to the world to not to look at anything evil and tolerate it, not to listen to anything evil and tolerate it, 
and not to speak anything evil and not to hurt anyone's mind, right? After this, the overall message was, if these three rules are followed by every human being, the place, the world would be a better place to live in. Where the earth will be a better place and there will be love, harmony, peace in the world amongst all the human beings. So do connect it to the past. Do uh, tell him, the, tell the examiner that I do know the value of these three monkeys and the reason that these three monkeys were introduced by Mahatma Gandhi, the freedom, the most famous freedom fighter of our country, right? Okay, so now that we have discussed everything, and I'm sure you would have definitely practiced it because this was your practice question for the last session. Let's proceed by re to read the sample answer. Okay, now, as I said earlier also, I would just repeat, always stick to one simple sentence that you think is easier for you to remember to start the question. Because most of the candidates, they struggle with starting that, okay, the very common question that I get is, ma'am, please, if you just give me one introductory sentence that I can use to start my answer, I'll be able to take it forward. This is what everybody says. So you should stick to one simple sentence that you feel is good to go for you and you will be able to remember it till the day you give your exam. And while practicing, just repetitively keep on focusing on that sentence. Let's read this one. In this picture, three monkeys can be seen sitting in three different positions each. So whatever the picture be, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, I will start with in this picture, dash, 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 can be C. The one on the extreme left is covering his eyes with its, its eyes with its hands. Proper pauses are very important. I am stopping here in the middle just to explain things to you. But when you are writing anything, you should understand that your sentence is ending here. So proper use of comma, full stops, semicolons, if required, should be there. Without proper pauses, don't just continue to write and write. You will lose marks for grammar. So let's, let me just read it from the beginning. In this picture, three monkeys can be seen sitting in three different positions each. The one on the extreme left is covering its eyes with its hands. The one in the center has its ears shut and its hand, with its hands. And the one on the extreme right has its mouth shut with its hand. Now see, the eyes have been covered whereas the ears and the mouth has been shut using different verbs, adverbs, adjectives, whatever it may be, do not try not to repeat the same word again and again. Everything will matter. Now, the overall description has been done in which I also added that these are three monkeys made of metal and they are dark silver in color. So you can mention that as well. But remember that you should mention them at the correct place. Not that just for the sake of writing, I'm just adding any sentence anyway. That should not happen. You should first start. If you want to include that sentence of mine, you can. Uh, you should add it before you start describing the eyes, ears and the nose part. Now, now I'm going to go back into times. Seeing this image, I only think of a famous freedom fighter from our country, proudly known as the father of the nation also. Mahatma Gandhi, who taught, who taught some amazing principles to the people through these monkeys. That was his purpose. That is the reason he introduced, because he wanted the people of the world or the people of India to learn the message that he wanted to convey and how that message would help the people to live in peace and harmony. He used to say that the monkey with eyes shut signifies that we should not witness any evil around us. The one in the center conveys that we should not hear anything evil. And the one on the right tells us to not speak of anything evil. So the same thing as we decided that these are the three wise monkeys who are conveying this message. Do not look at anything evil. Do not listen to anything evil. Do not speak anything evil. 
These are also known as the three wise monkeys. So there comes my point that these are also known as the three wise monkeys. Moreover, I feel that if people follow these principles, our lives will be peaceful and this world will be a better place to live in. Of course, you might feel that, you know, there are a few sentences that might not come to your head. But if this doesn't come, I'm sure something other or something else will definitely come to your head. So you write what is your understanding of the picture. Not that the understanding of all the people giving the same exam will be the same. Every person will have his own understanding. But the point is, don't stop writing till the 89th second. And... Do not give the AI any incomplete sentence. You know, these are small, small things that actually matter a lot and need to be taken care of. So I hope the practice question that you were given and the one that you practice and the sample answer that you have in front of you did match. Now you have this opportunity to match your answer with this and change the content accordingly. Moving ahead to the next question of the day. Okay, so now, now, if I look at the first picture, the first thought was that this is a picture of three monkeys. As soon as I look at it, this is a picture of not a beach. Remember, you know, the first uh, anyone would say that, oh, this is a beach, but this is not a beach. This is a sea, right? So I can't see that shoreline or anything. So this is not a beach. This is a sea. Okay. Of course, this looks like a tourist spot and the Main attraction, the first thing that you will notice is two girls standing in the middle of the sea and enjoying. That is the first sentence. Now, when you start writing this sentence, as you are typing side by side, you will have to observe these girls. Right? First, the overview of the picture, then the observation of the girls, then maybe the observation of these people who are there and the rock that is there, everything. Right. So for the first sentence, the first impression that we decided was that this is a picture of a sea. It looks like a tourist spot of a particular country because we don't know which country. There are so many seashores or countries which have uh, beaches. So uh, the first impression was this. After that, two girls can be seen in the forefront of the picture with a lot of other people enjoying their time somewhere at the background. And on the background, a big rock can also be seen. So this I am done with. Now I will start describing the girls again. Now, there are two girls who seem, who are the main part, you know, the main attraction of the picture, who seem to be enjoying their time in the sea. One of the girls is wearing a blue swimming costume and her hands are raised up as if i mean yes if i look at this hand let me just clear this if i look at this hand she seems to be waving at someone and her hair are tied in a pony so if you are describing one girl you can describe one girl if you are describing the dress of both the girls then describe the dress of both the girls if you're describing the hair of the both of both the girls then describe the hair but i don't want you to jump from one point to another without any connectivity. Remember this. So now, if you want to talk about one girl, which I would say is a better idea, that first describe the girl in blue, then describe the girl who is behind her and mention that the other girl who is behind the blue girl is wearing a bikini. Her hair are tied in a bun and she seems to be observing the water. Now, this one is looking at someone and this one is looking towards the water done now and you know if still if you think that there is time time is left you can talk about the wave the wave has just crossed them so the sparkling white water bubbles can be seen and this picture has been taken by someone who is standing very close to the girls because the expressions of the girls can be seen clearly and I'm sure in this, I'll be able to cover something around five to six sentences. And if there is time left, only then I will go into other details. Otherwise, no. So after we have done the content generation, we have collected the ideas. Let's read the sample answer. Okay. Again, if you notice, you know, 
simple sentence that I have to remember till the day I give my exam. This is a picture of two girls playing and enjoying themselves in a sea. Please be very careful whether it is a sea, whether it is a beach, whether the shoreline is visible, whether the shoreline is not visible. All these, you know, more or less the pictures revolve around the same thing. There can be some more people. Yes, now I am so sorry, just putting it to the slideshow. Okay, now this is a picture of two girls, as we decided by the first sentence, that this is a picture of two girls. I'm so sorry, due to some reason, I am not able to show you the picture. Yes. I'm now able to show you the picture. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. This is a picture of two girls playing and enjoying themselves in the sea. There can be some more people seen in the background who are swimming. So I'm not mentioning whether they are boys, girls, grown-ups, because I think that there are other important things that I need to include. Further, a huge rock can also be seen in the water. This one. Or I mentioned that can be seen far away from the girls, at a distance from the girls. These two girls have their swimming costumes on. One girl has her hair tied up in a bun and the other who is wearing a blue dress has her hair tied in a ponytail. So look at the symmetry of the information. Now the, the combination of the information about the dress and the hair has been given together. They both look like friends as they are together. Usually friends only go to uh, such uh, places. And another thing that I added was that this looks like a tourist spot of a country because there are so many people. Usually we find so many people at a tourist space, uh, spot only. The girl in the blue dress has her hands raised, which shows that she is waving at someone or she's waving with her right hand. I can mention that as well. I mean, the point is, that every person, as I said, will have a different understanding of the picture. You have to go with your understanding. But if your information is correct, if your sentences are grammatically correct and your spellings, everything is correct, nothing will make you lose your marks. They are enjoying themselves by playing with the waves. The picture is taken in broad daylight as the sun shining sunlit Sunlight falls, the shining sunlight falls on the sparkling blue water. And I mentioned that a wave has just crossed them and there are bubbles can be seen. See, as I said, that different people can have different understanding. But even that information was correct. So even this information is correct. So this was the detail of this picture. Now, one thing that is very important for all of you is to practice it. Without practice, to be able to write so much content in 90 seconds might be difficult. Another thing is that you should be very familiar with your keyboard. Your typing speed should be good. Otherwise, what happens? You will end up writing only till the first paragraph. And of course, if I write only this much information, but somebody else writes, writes this much information, obviously the person who writes more will get better marks. So you should start, get into the habit of typing. You should get into the habit of observing pictures so that on the day that you give your exam, you are relaxed, you are calm. You know that I know what will what is on my way and how to approach it. So this was about this picture. And oh, oh this is your practice question, a completely different picture. Okay. I'll just give you a few hints. Rest, this is your practice question. So you have to practice it. Okay, so let's see. Now, the first impression, if you all know about uh, this place, the first impression or the first thing that came to my mind is, this looks like Paris or Venice. Because as far as my knowledge, uh, as far as I remember, these are the countries where there are no roads and people have to go to places by boats. So this could be supposed. Now, if I don't know anything, I don't know whether this is Paris, Paris, this is Venice, this is India or whatever. Don't mention it. Or I can also mention that it's, I think that the name that this uh, city or this country is 
so and so. Otherwise, no point. Okay, now buildings can be seen on two sides. And you know, if I observe these buildings, they are not actually newly constructed. This building, this here, and this here mention all these things. Mm, even if I look at this window, even if I look at this paint, no, it is not a newly constructed building. The water is not as clean because, you know, just now I was observing the water in this picture and it was sparkling white, you know, such clear water. And here, if I look at this, the water is not at all clean. So mention all these things. The sky is clear, not cloudy. It seems the sun is shining. The picture has been taken during the day. And the rest is on to you because this is your practice question. When you practice this question, please try not to cross 90 seconds. Don't think that you are not being observed so you can take more time. This habit will only hamper you and your score in the final exam. Okay, so to have more such tips and tricks and interactive sessions, do follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, if there is any specific topic that you want to gain knowledge on, or you want us to help you with the tips and tricks and strategies of a particular type of question, or you have any general questions, please feel free to approach us via any method that you want to. And do remember to follow our website at www.unilearning.com. I hope this session would have helped you in multiple ways, and 